Hi, this is Phil Shapiro. I wanted to make this video to show you this software called Cloud Ready from Neverware. I really like this software. It's free for personal or home use, and it turns many older computers into a Chromebook or a Chrome box. And today I bought this computer we're looking at. It's an HP All-in-One from 2012. I got this on Craigslist for $80. It has 8 gigabytes of memory and a Core i3 processor. So even though some people might think this computer is a little bit older, it's definitely very, very fast when it's running um, a cloud-based operating system like CloudReady. So let's take a look at it. We're right now looking at the Neverware website, N-E-V-E-R-W-A-R-E.com. These are the folks who make CloudReady, and it's a business. They um, they can license cloud ready to schools and it's a whole managed system that you can get and um but for it's it's free for personal or home use so very nice for uh repurposing computers by the way so many laptops on ebay are sold without a hard drive so um in some cases it can be ideal to use cloud ready because the computer doesn't have a hard drive and you can boot from usb you just interrupt the boot process and go to the boot order. It depends on different laptop uh, manufacturers have a, a function key usually or the escape key. So on this particular HP, I pressed escape and then I, I used the down arrow to go down to my USB drive. In about 20 seconds, cloud ready boots. It asked me for a Gmail login or I can browse the web as a guest. So let's take a look and see how fast this is. I'm going to come over here, make a new tab. I'll go to some of my favorite websites. Here's npr.org. Wow, you can see it totally scrolls fast. Look at that. This is very, very fast. Let's go to New York Times, nytimes.com. So I'm using a cable modem internet connection right now. Um, it's not particularly fast. It's not like a fiber optic. It's maybe... 10 or 20 megabits per second, but it feels like fiber optic. It feels like 100 megabits per second because I have so much RAM and the Core i3 processor does a very nice job with this cloud operating system. The browser I'm using is Chromium. It's not Chrome. Um, and let's take a look and see which version. I come over here. It's very similar to Chrome. It says Cloud Ready over here, Cloud Ready version 66. Um, so... Um, I really like it. Uh, I have done some tests with Cloud Ready, and some of the laptops that I've tested it on, um, it just doesn't work. It doesn't boot for some reason, and that's okay. Um, but Cloud Ready sometimes boots on some older laptops that are very affordable, and then you can hook up those laptops to a 2560 by 1440 monitor using a DisplayPort cable. And then, so Cloud Ready gives you this huge uh, desktop. Um, that is very nice for surfing the web or even doing graphic design work with there are some websites that let you do graphics work on the web. So uh, Pixlr and some others, pixlr.com. There's others that do things on the web. Um, so this is cloud ready. Um, let me also show you this. I went to find a review of this HP Compact computer HP Compact 8200 Elite review, and I found one from PC Magazine 2011, I guess. Here it is, by a um, review by Joel Santo Domingo in 2011. And, um, oh, whoops, no, this is for a different computer. I want the computer that's the all in one. All dash in one. Here we are. And this is a 2012 review by that same author. And the manufacturer's suggested list price over here is $1,800 uh, for this computer that I bought for $80. Um, so, um, one little hitch I found, this particular computer, for some reason, the Wi-Fi wasn't working when, um, when I booted in Cloud Ready, and also when I booted with uh, uh, Windows 10 that came with the computer, but that was easily remedied. I put in a USB Wi-Fi adapter, and right away, uh, 
Cloud Ready saw that, and I bought that adapter. It's a Panda, P-A-N-D-A adapter, USB uh, 802.11ABN, I think it is. And um, uh, that cost me about $15 on eBay. So altogether, um, this Cloud Ready would be really nice for uh, a family member or friend who wanted a simplified computer experience. So if you are the support person for somebody who doesn't really like computers or gets overwhelmed by Windows 10 um, or the Mac operating system, this is just your web browser and uh, there are fewer things that can quote go wrong um, and you uh, Oh, this is interesting here. At the bottom of the of this review, it tells you similar all-in-one products. So you can look up similar products and then go hunt these down on eBay and maybe see if people are selling these similar all-in-ones from 2012, which is six years ago. And that's how you get a really good deal. You get a really good deal when you buy a six or eight-year-old computer and you use Linux. And Cloud Ready is uh, uh, very likely based, uh, it's a Linux-based cloud operating system, um, kind of a derivative of the Google Chrome, uh, Chromebook kind of experience. And so um, here's other, there's a Lenovo Think Center, HP Touch Smart, uh, and a couple others here. Let's scroll down. Yeah, that um, you could go looking on eBay and find, maybe or go looking on Craigslist. Um, so this is my quick review of Cloud Ready. I like it a lot. I want to thank the folks who make it. And uh, please tell people you know that this is one extra way of kind of refurbishing computers or putting them to use. So many laptops on eBay are sold without a hard drive. So Cloud Ready is a really smart way. Uh, you need, I think it's an eight gigabyte or, or bigger USB flash drive. And it's a way of putting these uh, computers to use again, giving them a second life. They are reborn. Hallelujah, reborn. Um, so uh, tell people about Cloud Ready. I like it a lot. I want to thank the folks who made it. Over and out. This is Phil.